He keep talking about small dicks, though. <laughs> like, I tell you right now, like, I ain't got the world biggest dick, but I got enough dick to leave it on red sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, for sure, easy, easy. But yeah, man, my name is Brad, man. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about me. Yeah, so first, my name is Brad, and my whole life, people have asked me two questions. First question they asked me, do you know you got a white dude name? <laughs> I'm like, of course I know I got a white dude name. I don't just have a white dude name, I have a punchable white dude name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Brad is an upper management name with 401k. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm more 420, it's a total difference. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> total difference. Second question they asked me, do you know that if that's your real name or not? You think I'll pick Brad if I pick the white dude name? I'll pick a strong red-blooded American name, a blue-collar name like Sturgill. You know what I'm saying? That's a good white dude name right there. I like that one. Yeah, yeah, I like that white dude name. But I did that, I did that joke at the show one time. This white kid come up to me after the show was like, hey, Brad, dude, I understand what you're going through in the name thing. I'm like, young white dude, how you know what I'm going through in the name thing? He was like, Brad, my parents named me Cedric. <laughs> Bro, that is a black dude name. That's not just a black dude name, that's a granddaddy black dude name, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, come here, bro, let me check your blood pressure and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Crazy. I also tell you a little bit about myself, I love to travel. Uh, one of my best friends recently got married and we went to a bachelor retreat to the mountains of North Georgia. Yeah, no, I'd rather went to the strip clubs of Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'd rather. But no, we, we did the craziest thing I ever done in like a bachelor party. We woke up seven o'clock in the morning to go on a nature hike. <laughs> yeah. We get up there at seven o'clock in the morning, they had a sign at the trail said, beware of black bears. <laughs> black bears are active in this area. They are wild animals. They might kill you, so you should familiarize yourself with black bear behavior. I'm like, number one, this is a lot to unpack at seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> lot to unpack. Number two, they bears. Do we have to bring color into it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real, only bears I like are gummy and vaccinated with THC. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> only bears that I like. For real, it's crazy. The next part said, black bears are wild animals and they might kill you. I'm like, y'all doubling down on the black bears. I start taking up for them. I'm like, why the black bears gotta be wild animals for? I'm like, you don't hear me calling polar bears animal crackers. You don't hear me doing that. And I could do that all the day. I could do that shit. You know what I'm saying? For real. <laughs> the last part though, it said, Familiarize yourself with black bear behavior. I'm like, I wouldn't know do if I seen a black bear I'd be like, hey bro, black lives matter, don't kill me, motherfucker, okay? <laughs> we the only two living black things in North Georgia, motherfucker. Fuck with me. <laughs> Fuck with me. It's crazy. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I told you, man, I'm from the South, baby. I'm from the country. We here, we're having fun. I ain't like, I said, I'll tell you a little bit about myself, man. I do, I like to do public service announcements up top. This one is a public service announcement for all the white guys out there. For real. If a white girl smoked Newports, she's ours now, okay? <laughs> that is our girl. You lost her, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ours. <laughs> The next one though is for all the black guys out there. We gotta step it up because black women are adventurous now. <laughs> yeah, black women like to go on nature hikes and shit now. <laughs> they like to go rock climbing. They like to go kayaking and stuff like that. Black women out here chasing waterfalls. They ain't sticking to the rivers and the lakes that they used to. <laughs> they are not, it's crazy, it's crazy. For real, man. Cause no, I dated this one black girl, I'm like, baby, come over here, man, let's have some brunch, let's go out and have brunch, order whatever you want to. She's like, Brad, hell yeah, I know exactly what I want. I want the steak and eggs. I want my steak bloody, I want my eggs runny. What white boy you been fucking ordering your food like that? 
We ought to stay well done, egg scrambled cheese optional. You know this shit. I'm obviously not the first brand that you done fuck with before. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> obviously. It's crazy for real though. Cause I have been dating. I dated, I broke, I broke with my girlfriend a little bit before the pandemic, like a month before. Uh, I didn't know it was gonna be two years. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I didn't know that shit. You know what I'm I played it wrong. But, I'm in the South though. We've been dating anyway, you know what I'm saying? So I got to go out and shit. So I was dating this one girl, man. And because of COVID, I had the second safest sex I've ever had in my life. <laughs> yeah, the first safest is at home by myself with myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the safest sex anyone can have. But the second safest sex I had, I had a condom and a mask on. <laughs> Our parents are in their sixties. We want to like live forever and shit. We want to kill them and shit. You know what I'm saying? I had to hit it from the back because you know the rules. You know what I'm saying? You can't be facing each other. You can't be facing each other. I had to hit it from the back. But I'm in there. I get in there. I step in there. I'm doing my thing though. I'm in there. I'm killing that thing. I'm in there. Boom, boom, boom. But you know, I start sweating and shit. A little sweat start running. Then that mask start getting heavy on my face. I'm start. She looked back, she was like, daddy, daddy, talk dirty to me, talk dirty to me. I'm like. I am your father. And I just came everywhere, it was amazing. It was the best time, best fucking time, I swear. Praise is, is fire, fire. Oh shit, fuck yeah. Also, man, this is me, I'm from the South. I tell you right now, I'm not the most political person. I, I'm not, I tell you right now, I knew two things. Like for real, I knew two things. It don't matter if you're on the right or left, can we not agree that Barack and Michelle is the first presidential couple? I wouldn't mind seeing fuck on Pornhub. <laughs> I watched that shit, you got me fucked up. <laughs> Michelle got that 44 inch ass and shit, you know what I'm saying? I watched two black, like that's two black lawyers, motherfucker. I watched two fucking people from Domino's fucking side. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang, we here though, fuck it. <laughs> I watched that shit. <laughs> the second thing I knew, I knew that Joe Biden was gonna pick a black woman for his vice president candidate. And it had nothing to do with politics. It's cause I know Sleepy Joe. <laughs> I know Sleepy Joe very well, and I knew it was gonna be a hair smelling contest. <laughs> and who hair smell better than black women? He smelled common hair smelling like ice cream and shea butter. He was like, fuck yeah, Vice President Kennedy right here. <laughs> I think Mayor Pete was next, cause he liked his hair smell like Tressa May, ooh la la. <laughs> because no, I was actually in Alabama when I found out that Mayor Pete was running for president. The guy beside me like, you think you could vote for a gay man for president? I'm like, dude, hell yeah, I care about tax breaks and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you're doing in your bedroom. And I really started thinking about it. I'm like, hell yeah, have you seen what gay people done to my neighborhood? Can you imagine what they can do for Alabama and Mississippi? <laughs> for real. Cause I love my neighborhood. you know what I'm saying? I got a great neighborhood. Number one, there's not a lot of kids in that motherfucker. Number two, I live in Tennessee. It's not a smoking state, but I can smoke anywhere in my neighborhood because they got too many Black Lives Matter signs to care about that shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, motherfucker, you wanna go viral? You know. And the last reason is because it's no kids. I can walk around with my shirt off. It's welcome there. The other day I found out that I'm a black bear. <laughs> You know the rules. I put up a sign, beware of black bear behavior, motherfucker. <laughs> beware, goddammit. <laughs> also, man, I say this though, I am a progressive guy though, man. It is, uh, it is Pride Month, get up for Pride Month, for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a lot of crazy stuff, man. Like, I don't know if you've seen, man, it'd be a lot of crazy stuff, people jumping on agendas and stuff, but it was an article, it was about, it was about Campbell's Soup. <laughs> For real, they had an ad, they had two dads having a bowl of soup with their son. It pissed a lot of people off. 
And I'm like, I'll never eat camel soup again. <laughs> I never spent another dollar on camel soup. I'm like, why are we fighting over soup? <laughs> it's soup for Christ's sakes. And then it's like, is soup not already the gayest food anyway? <laughs> Saying. With all the slurping and blowing you gotta do just to enjoy a bowl of that shit? <laughs> it ain't no masculine way to suck up a noodle. It is not. <laughs> and if you didn't know camel soup was gay, you must not know their motto is mm mm good. Yes, bitch. Yes, bitch. Cream my mushroom. Cream my mushroom? How you didn't know? <laughs> bang, bang, we're here. But like, yeah, before I get up out of here, man, I am from Nashville, Tennessee, man, so. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. Country music capital of America, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. And I'm fortunate, man, I get to do shows in front of a lot of crazy people. And uh, I did a show about a year ago. I got finished with it, I'm in the green room, I'm chilling. Darius Rucker. Yes. Darius Rucker from Hootie and the Blowfish, huge mega country star, walks into the green room. And Darius Rucker walks up to me, and he was like, Brad, nigga, you funny as fuck. <laughs> Darius Rucker? <laughs> nigga, you say nigga. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all, that shit rocked me like a wagon wheel. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's my time, Brad Seaver. Bang, bang, appreciate you. <laughs>